are people out there who want to retire young, like really young. Well, the way they're doing it is called extreme savings, and when you hear about it, you might think you'd rather bungee jump off Niagara Falls. Well, brace yourself, friends, because we are talking intense thrift, but Jimmy Rhodes says it could get you out of that office and into an extremely good life. It's our featured story on the top of the list. All those social feeds of young people retiring early and having fun, it's a hot movement known as FIRE. It's an acronym for Financial Independence Retire Early. FIRE OG Jacob Lund Fisker wrote Early Retirement Extreme. He says people are ditching the 9 to 5 earlier than ever. These days, people are retiring early in their late 20s and 30s. Here's how to light your fire. For starters, know your number, the amount you need to save to retire at your current lifestyle. And don't just say a million bucks. If you spend like half a million dollars a year, then obviously a million dollars is only going to last you like two years, right? Whereas if you spend 20000 a year, then a million dollars is going to last you 50 years. Calculate what you actually spend, then multiply by 25 to 35. If you're spending a lot, that number will be way too big. To live a big chunk of your life retired, you'll need to live below your means. Way below your means. Fire people save huge chunks of what they earn. Savings rate that are 50% or 60% or 80%. To put that in perspective, if you net 50 grand a year, an 80% savings rate means you're banking 40,000 and living off 10,000. It may sound impossible, but chip away at costs by learning to do things like our grandparents and great-grandparents did. We have essentially forgotten how to do most things for ourselves. Mending clothes, fixing cars, cooking meals. Once you sort of get into it, you become more self-reliant, then your spending automatically goes down. Don't know how? YouTube tutorials are your friend. Next, to retire early, you've got to invest. You're essentially changing your career from someone who works for money to someone who invests money. Even with a conservative approach, when you're investing upwards of 50 percent of your income, the effects of compounding are amplified. Finally, know thyself, because FIRE isn't for everyone. One thing that FIRE doesn't provide is structure. Besides, retirement can be boring. After they've done the things they always wanted to do, many people are like, what do I do with myself? So a lot of them actually end up going back to work. If you love your job and like having the newest smartphones, FIRE's probably not for you. Firing up an early retirement is at the top of the list.